today on Logan Lee Adventures. Good morning. It's about 7 a.m. and we just finished uh, exploring the Taj Mahal. If you haven't checked out that video, check it out below. And right now we're just heading to Agra Fort in this cool. I don't even know if you can call it tuk tuk. It's like a little electronic bicycle, I guess. Thank you. Yep. Cost like five cents to get to the port. India is full of splendor. Yurun and I had already talked about how it's just impossible to experience the full amount of what this huge country of 1.40 billion people is. So we already know that we both want to come back to continue exploring in the future. It's a sensory overload, Hindi at high speed, an exuberant dance of colors. We're adventurers for a whole lifetime, and India is going to be one big stitching in our woven travels. We're here exploring the Red Fort. Suitably named as the color red is significantly made up these regal walls. An era marked by invasions and fortifications where power was symbolized by grand palaces and grander forts. During such time, near the gardens of the Taj Mahal was built the important 16th century Mughal monument, which is where we are now, the Agra Fort. Man, this fort is huge. This is one of the most beautiful rooms in the side of the fort. Especially all the inscribing and details and marble as well. I love the high arches here and this garden. Uh, Islamic architecture is so, so stunning. That was the cool red fort. So now we're off to our next place. Let's see what more Agla has to offer. This morning we did the Taj Mahal and then we did the Old Fort. So just across the river, uh, and from the city of Agra is the baby Taj Mahal. But this is the gate for it, so we have to walk through the gate. And then we'll get to see what the baby Taj looks like. Or well, at least that's the nickname. While this morning and in a previous video, we were exploring the Taj Mahal, we are now at the baby Taj. The name itself was just too cute when we saw it on the map. So we had to explore this place for ourselves. And just like the Taj Mahal, it is also a Mughal mausoleum. It overlooks the Yamuna River. Look at this gorgeous interior. Oh my. Oh. And the tiles and just the artwork, the details in this place. After exploring Agra, we hop back onto the trains in India, which is iconic and a thrill. All the doors are busted wide open, where you can dangle yourself off and hang out from the side. Yeah, scary. It's often called the transport lifeline of the nation, and is the fourth largest railway network in the world. Has over 70,000 passenger coaches and more than 11,000 locomotives. 
From suburbs to urban transit, the Indian Railway Network covers the length and breadth of this country. sleeper. We're gonna see whereas yesterday we were sure if it was the right sleeper. Today we know for sure this is not the right sleeper because we have general tickets because those are the only ones available left uh, last minute since it's Independence Day for India today. So all the other tickets were booked. So we have general tickets which means that you just pop in anywhere that is free but not in second class or first class except the second class and first class are the only ones that has AC so here we are let's see what happens some of our friends and family and even some of you viewers out there who have seen our magnitude of travels in real life and on this channel keep asking us how do we travel so much well, when the world is this grand, my friend, how can we not? Always on the move, always planning our next escape. It's so... Always on the move, always planning our next escape. It's so we can etch our way across this fantastical world that we are in. Because staying in just one corner of the world is just far too... How would I put it? Well, compared to the size of India, claustrophobic, that's for sure. So now we're in the general compartment, and as you can see, we're sitting on the ground, and it's not as glamorous. Better than where we were. What? Better than where we were. Yeah. But it's actually quite cooling because of the fans. And you can lean on me and I'm leaning on some bags, so it's quite nice. Look, this guy is taking photo of us. Not discreetly at all. <laughs> Maybe he's one of my Instagram followers. <laughs> so, I'm fine with sitting here until Delhi, which is, I think it's about two more hours ish, two and a half. We'll see. Anyways, guys, so this is the Indian Rail. Luckily, we got some samosas to eat because there's not much else to do, as you can see. We made it, we're in our tuk tuk, and we're heading back to our hotel. Subscribe for next week when we'll hop to another new country. Give this video a like and leave us a comment below.